Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly generate this color palette for your next project. If you're new to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. So to get started, I have this three palettes that we're going to use. So let's say you are starting your project and you have just your primary color and you want to generate shades of these colors. So the best way to do that is to click on this action button here and hit the plugin button. Then let's search for foundation. So I'm looking for this foundation color generator. I'm going to click on this. Then I'll select my primary color because we want to generate shades for that. Control C to copy. And I'm going to paste this here. Press enter on your keyboard and you see we have this color palette which has been generated. So what I want us to do here, we have different styles. So the styles I use, it's the material design. So I'm going to paste my color back here again to generate this uh, blue color. So this time I'm going to rename this to, let's say primary. So you see we have primary from 50 to 900. So now we can then create a palette by doing this. If I click this, now we have this beautiful looking palette. And the next thing I want us to do is to click on the create style button. This is going to add 10 styles for us. So let me show you what just happened. If I click on the empty space, you see now on my local style, I have this. If I open this, we have the foundation with our primary colors. I can then drag this and uh, drop it, let's say outside here. What that means is that if I have a rectangle, let me close this. If I have a rectangle, all you just need to do is to hit this and you see we have our colors here. It might be listed like this. If you're using the grid view, this is the list view. So we can simply just apply that color. And I'm going to do that with these two other colors here. We can go back to our action button, click on this, and I'm going to select foundation. And we can select this other color here. We're going to grab this and paste this here. Let's just change this to material first and I'll paste the red color. So this, let's say this is our error color. So if I create this style here, it has generated that I go here, you see. So now your main danger color, it's going to be this 500. You see it's highlighted here, it's pointed. This is the color you provided and this are from the top to this and then down are the palettes that has been generated for you. The same thing for the warning. Let's grab this, Command C to copy that. I'll paste this here and let's rename this to warning. So we can then create this style and also click here to generate the palette. So if we close this now, I'm just going to try to arrange this palette here. So we have our first palette. I think I replaced the initial one. So um, we're supposed to have another palette here, but let's look at the local style here. Here I can just drag this and drop this outside. The same with warning, drag and drop this here and you can use this in your project. I'm just going to try to add a simple frame here. Let's say a mobile phone and let's try to create something simple from this. I'll hit F to create a frame and we can add a fill to this frame. Then I'll select our primary color, which is this. If you want them in form of this grid, you can just select that and let's apply this. So let's just give this some little stroke of eight. And if I hit letter T on my keyboard, let's say this is notification notification and let's apply our colors here. Sorry, I'm going to hit the fill here and uh, I'm going to apply this. This is going to be our 500. So if I apply this, you see we have this nice looking shade and you can go one step further, add a stroke and uh, let's apply the 500 here again. So this is how you can generate your palette for your project. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more tutorial tips like this, please kindly hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.